Kenneth May, University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. Thanks. Okay. And what did you think of today's uh, plenary session with Amber? I thought it was very exciting, but the thing that I, that concerned me was, uh, you know, we have a lot of older heads like myself and the younger generation, and we are so strict on, you know, structure with students communicating verbally versus this electronic thing. And my concern is students will lose communication skills. And also it doesn't bring those individuals out that should be brought out. You know, say the one that's very shy sits in the back of the class and twitters, but it should be actually communicating verbally with, with the faculty member and instructor. And do you, do you use Facebook or Twitter? I do use it. I've started to use it. And one of my big concerns being that I am a recruiter and I run the Office of Multicultural Affairs is to keep that separation with prospective students, current students, and alumni. I do invite alumni to join my Facebook, but I do not invite current students or prospective students to join my Facebook. Will that change in the future based on this conversation? No, it will not. No, okay. no, no, no it will okay. stay the same. Okay. But, but do any of the uh, educators actually use it to teach any other class? To I, more with I know their work that we use the iPod uh, okay. such, uh, set up. In our, in our program. I have not yet switched to that because I know some of this information can, can get out. Um, and I use a lot of clippings from different resources. And I haven't referenced a lot of those resources in my, in my lectures. So I want to make sure that they're referenced in case they get out and people know that I'm not trying to clip their information. Right. So. so what was your biggest takeaway for the meeting overall? Um, I thought it was exciting and but my my lack of knowledge in some of these skills is really hindering me, but I'm really concerned about the personal information, the privacy part of it. Okay, that's, that, that's my biggest concern. Okay. And the other one would be the ability of students to interact. Okay. Face to face interaction. Exactly. And you, we have, we're in a multicultural environment, very diverse. And certain cultures believe in, you know, when you're communicating with a senior person, that you honor that person by not, you know, talking about certain things or interacting in a certain way, you listen more, that type of thing. And whereas others are more verbal and more boisterous in their, in their communication. So we have to take that in consideration too, the diversity of the, of the, of the individuals that we 